I went to, to high school at Washita Christian uh, High School in uh, Monroe, and then undergraduate at uh, Millsaps College in Jackson, Mississippi, uh, with a degree in biology, a pre-med curriculum, and then attended uh, LSU Shreveport uh, Medical School and graduated there in 2001. Uh, following that, I did my urology residency in Houston, Texas at uh, UT Houston. I'm a urologist, and we deal uh, basically with diseases of the urinary tract and voiding dysfunction, as well as men's health and men's sexual dysfunction. Um, I emphasize my practice largely on problems such as enlarged prostate, uh, focusing on men's health also, such as testosterone replacement, um, urinary stone disease, uh, kidney stones, and uh, the different uh, treatments for that, including all the cutting edge surgical techniques for that. We treat um, cancers of the urinary tract, such as prostate, bladder, and kidney. And I also specialize in um, laparoscopic surgery uh, for kidney disorders. I have special interest really in uh, kidney stone disease, um, which encompasses a wide variety such as um, shockwave lithotripsy or endoscopic procedures with laser as well as percutaneous uh, type procedures uh, for larger kidney stones. So the technology has really advanced over the years and has, and has been impressive that we really very rarely ever need to do actual open surgery for any kidney stones at this point in time. And um, I like to be on the forefront, you know, those new technologies for stones. Uh, men's health is another, is another up and coming area that I really like to specialize in. This uh, largely involves testosterone monitoring and replacement. Um, we use testosterone pellets, uh, for example, as well as other different delivery methods for testosterone. I, I treat um, enlarged prostate or BPH as, it, as it's called. And we, we have um, really cutting, cutting edge technologies uh, for that where procedures can generally be done on an outpatient basis at this point in time and with, with less complications. Yes, I really like to have um, more of a casual, uh, friendly atmosphere um, with the patient and really arm them with, with, all the, with all the options and knowledge to try to help, help them make a decision on their own, but not feel like they're being forced really one way or another. Uh, there's risk and benefits that have to be weighed in every situation, and so I just I like to try to keep the patient well informed in that way so we can um, go forward together with the treatment plan.